What's up guys? I'm AlphaYT and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Forged Optifine for any version of Minecraft so you can run shaders or just improve your FPS in Minecraft. Real quick though, before I start the video, I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribed and liked because it really helps my channel a lot. And comment down below what shaders you use for Minecraft. Okay, so the first step is to open up the Minecraft launcher and find whichever version that you're going to install Optifine and Forge on. I'm doing 1.20.1 and then just click play. Okay, once you're on the main menu, just go and click quit game. All right, so now you're, what you're gonna wanna do is go to the first link in the description or just type in java.com and go to downloads. If you already have Java, then you don't need to do this part. But if you don't have Java, then go to Java, click download, and click the green button. Should ask where you wanna save your file. I'm gonna save mine in downloads and it's now downloading. Once it's downloaded, open up your downloads or whatever you save your file to, and then just right click on the file. Okay, now the Java setup window is going to pop up. Just click install. And it should start installing Java. Now it should say that you have successfully installed Java. Just click on close. Okay, so after you have installed Java, go to the second link in the description, or you can just go to your browser and type in files.minecraftforge.net. To bring you to this website, this is where you're gonna install Forge. And so go on to the left hand side here, find whichever version that you're going to install Optifine and Forge for, and I'm doing 1.20.1. And before you install anything, what you're going to want to do is go to the third link in the description, or you can type in optifine.net, and then just go over to downloads, and then find whichever version that you are installing for Minecraft. And so for me, I'm doing 1.20.1. And over here it should say forge and then it'll say some numbers mine is 40.0.35 so once you have found those numbers go back over to forge click on Joel versions and scroll down until you find the, those numbers again okay so mine is 40.1.35 go over here and just click on installer okay so after you click install it should bring you here don't click on anything it's probably going to install a virus on your computer if you do just go up here and click skip now it should ask where you want to install your file. I'm doing mine in downloads. And once that has installed, you can go back over to Optifine and then just download whichever version, but don't click download, click mirror because it will have you skip the ad. Then you can just download it right away. Do the same thing that you did with Forge and there you go, it should download. Okay, so this next part is optional, but if you want shaders that I really, really, really highly recommend using complimentary reimagined. There's really good shaders, I use them all the time in all of my videos, and I've been using them for probably like three years now. I don't know, I've been using them for a while, but they're really cool, they're really good. They have a ton of different like settings on them, I covered them in a previous video I think. So if you want to use these shaders, or you just use any shaders that work with Optifine, which if you are getting shaders, you have to make sure they work with Optifine, otherwise it can crash your game and it will cause a lot of problems. And you probably don't want to deal with that, because I know I don't. So find whichever version you're going to install. Just click, yeah, I'm doing 1.20.9. And for this, it doesn't matter which one you click. I'd probably click the top one. But it, it'll show you, like, all the supported versions down here. Then you can just click download. And then wait five seconds, and it should download. Alright, so once you have everything downloaded, you can just close your browser. Open up your files. And we're gonna start with Forge. So just right click, open with, and then install with Java. Then you can just close this for now. Okay, so it should open up this mod system installer and then make sure it's on install client. And then this should automatically be put in. This is where it will install Forge. Just click okay. And then it should start downloading. Okay, I should have mentioned this before, but you before you install this, you need to have the Minecraft Java launcher closed, otherwise it will cause problems and it will not work. But once you have downloaded Forge, you can just click OK. Now, you don't need to do the same thing with Optifine, you just need to open up the Minecraft launcher. Once it has opened, it should say that Forge is installed. And once it's done installing, just go over into installation, click on the folder over here. Now this is where all your mods and stuff are gonna be saved. So like your mods, shaders, resource packs, pretty much just kind of like everything about the game. And what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to scroll until you can find mods. It's right here. Then just click open. And apparently I already have Optifine installed. So, but if you don't have Optifine installed already, just gonna want to go over here 
and just drag it in there. But I already have it installed, so I don't need to do that. And then what you can do next is go over to Dot Minecraft, and then scroll down until you find Shader Packs. And I already have Complementary Reimagined installed, but you're just going to want to drag this folder and place it in there. And then you can click out of this, click out of this, and then you can run your game and let's see how it looks. Alright, so once you're on the home page, just click single player, create a new world, or you can use a previous world if you want to, I'm just gonna create a new one, so that's just easier for me. Okay, so once you load into the game, it's probably gonna look something like this, which don't, don't worry, your shaders are working, you just haven't installed them yet. I think I did this probably my first time, so up here it says off, or for some of you it might already automatically be installed, but if it's not, then just... Yeah, do this. Should work. And then you can go over to your shader options. And I have mine on medium because I don't want to crash my game while recording. And so you can just change everything in here. Uh, things that I would recommend changing would probably be the atmosphere. You can put the clouds on fancy, which will make them look realistic. Let's see. Um, you can change the night star amount, which looks really cool at nighttime. I'll show you guys that in a minute materials you should probably change the water because it's probably gonna look flat once you have this installed but mine was already previously put on fancy so i recommend changing it to fancy because it'll make it look really cool waving textures yeah, i would put on waving leaves and then just make sure you have everything else on waving and if you guys want to you can like change all this stuff to be like off or on like a lower setting so it doesn't crash your game because I don't I I know I've had to do that before and it sucks. But it doesn't look bad, like it still looks really cool. Like this is a lot better than what Minecraft used to look like. And the water is realistic, the sky looks more realistic. And if we set it to nighttime. Thank you guys for watching all the way to the end of this video. I really appreciate it because it helps my channel a lot. I also really appreciate if you guys liked and subscribed because that also really helps my channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, then let me know down below. And if things aren't working, if you guys are having issues, let me know down below too and I will do my best to help all of you guys. And as always, I'm Alpha YT and I'll see you later.